everybody. It's hello. It's I'm back. Yes, we're back on Anderton's TV with long time friend of the show and now vice president of tone for line six. Uh, nice. Mr. Paul Highmarsh. Hi. Paul has come down today to show us a new product called the Helix LT. Uh, and you've just been hearing, uh, or we've just been hearing, um, a Fender Hot Rod Deluxe guitar amplifier behind us here with the Helix plugged straight in front, just playing around uh, as if it were a, 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 um, an alternative to your oldie fashioned pedal board. Yeah. Uh, because it can be. But look, Paul, tell us, you know, before we get into why we've done that and some of the other demos we're going to do during this video, what is Helix LT? So Helix LT is a slightly streamlined version of the Helix that we've all come to know and love, which is obviously the Helix Floor, and then we have the Helix Rack version as well. Um, this is a slightly more affordable version, mm -hmm. or a much more affordable version, I suppose. There's quite a big difference in the price. I think it's down it's about, from... It's about 30, 30, 40% cheaper, isn't it, than a regular Yeah, it's Helix. about so, yeah, two, thirds, three, two thirds of price, I guess, yeah. yeah. Um, and the idea basically is it now just makes it more affordable to get those Helix tones that the rest of us have been enjoying for the last 18 months. Um, we were missing a few things from there. Um, for me personally, um, I'm not even sure that I would need them that much in the, in the first place. So, I mean, scribble strips, once you get used to them and you start and, you, and you're using them, they're a great, great thing to have. But we have, um, we, we're, we're missing them on here, but we do have virtual scribble strips. So if you jump straight in there. So yeah, if we've got the camera on there. So virtual scribble strips, um, the screen will divide in eight segments. It corresponds yeah. with the eight pedals, the eight pedals and, underneath. And on the, the bigger Helix then, this display would have physically been under each pedal, wouldn't it, right? Or yeah, so Helix Floor and the Helix Rack, the, the name, you can customise the name of each pedal, right. and you can colour code each pedal and everything as well, so you see, you're seeing all of that. But uh, but essentially, this is just a virtual scribble strip in here, mm -hmm. so I can see the presets that are in the, in, in the screen there, I can see the different pedals that I have assigned to it there as well. Um, but it's, the most important thing here is it's, the, it's exactly the same sound, it's the same engine, it's the same HX modelling for the effect, it's the same HX modelling for the arms as well um, and around the back we have a slightly streamlined IO so there's a still a lot on there Helix Floor you had four different effects loops you had a microphone input with phantom power all that yeah. kind of thing um, spit if in and out on this one we have two effects loops um, so and we haven't got the microphone in so I'm missing missing yeah. a few things in there whether it matters to most but, people quite so I possibly guess the, not I guess the important thing then is if someone's seen an older Helix video, because that's been out for what, 18 months now? Yeah, Original just, Helix. just over, I think. So if someone's seen a Helix video and thought, that sounds amazing, but I can't afford it, um, everything in terms of tonally that that product can do, Helix LT can do uh, for a more affordable price. Um, Absolutely, yeah. I mean, and if you're watching any of the previous sort of Helix videos and you like the sounds from them, it's also worth mentioning that because of the, because Helix now has been out for 18 months, Line 6 have continuously added new sounds to that. So from the time we did the very first video, which right. would have been 18 months ago, yep. can you believe? It was, it was like um, September, October 2015. Yeah, yeah. Where, does, where does time go, man? So, so since we've done that, we've added, I think it's like an extra 25 different amps in okay. there as well. So there's extra effects, we're up to, it's 104 effects in the whole yeah. of the Helix range. There's 62 amps, 37 cabinets, and, and all the microphone but, and, uh, modeling as well. You know, so. I, I guess, one of the things that, you know, when, when um, we found out that Paul was going to be available to come down and do some video, and um, we've just been talking about what's, what's the angle, really? Because I think there's, um, there's, already, uh, there's already a divide, I think, in, in the world of, you know, Helix, Kemper, Axe FX, all that kind of stuff. People kind of, you know, are split into the camp of, yes, I'm happy to plug that straight into my door or straight into my PA. Uh, I'm, you know, touring musician. I understand all the advantages of that. I listen to myself through in-ear monitoring, whatever, happy with that. So therefore, that methodology of creating my tone is for me. Mm -hmm. And then it's just a question of, you know, do you go Helix or Kemper or Fractual or, you know, what do you do? Or there's the, it's not for me. I just like my guitar amp. I've got a nice valve amp yep. and I've got a, a pedal board that I've put together over a period of time and that's the direction that I want to go. So the, the first part of the, the, the video that we kind of decided to do today wasn't really to worry too much about almost like the guy who's already convinced that this is the way to go. Mm -hmm. This is more about, well, 
would somebody who had a nice amplifier like a Hot Rod Deluxe or something similar and who um, perhaps was thinking about putting a pedal board or, or already had a pedal board, would uh, a Helix or a Helix LT be a viable alternative for that guy? What would be the, the pros, the cons, um, you know, ultimately the, the, the sound? So that's kind of what I'm throwing over to you here is, is like, you know, so let, let's just focus on being that guy for a minute. Why would, you know, what has Helix got to say that would convince me that I shouldn't be taking my, you know, my pedal board of doom out with me? <laughs> the pedal board of doom instantly sounds very big. Yeah. It instantly sounds very, very expensive. Um, and it instantly sounds like there could be a lot of problems, a lot of nightmares with cables and batteries and all kinds of things like that. However, some people love that kind of thing and I can't, uh, that's, that's totally cool to like that kind of thing. Um, for me, this, I mean, I, I am the person who replaced the amp and replaced everything. And I used the amp model and I, I, I never thought I would, but I, I've totally bought into it. And it, yeah. was, and, it, and it wasn't at a point where it was a point when I wasn't working for, really for, as a full-time full -time thing for, for Line 6. Um, my purpose today really was to come down here and do exactly as you said and convince Pete <laughs> that he needs one. Because I haven't done the Anderton's videos, I know that um, you guys really like to just take pedals and plug them straight into an amplifier. Um, and it's it can be quick and easy, but Helix can be a much easier way of doing that. So the way we run it here is guitar straight into Helix, and then as you said, straight out there. Um, I've changed the outputs on that so it's on instrument level. So currently it's just going to work just as pedal boards. There's no amp model and there's nothing else there at all. Um, what you can do is with with the advantage of having a Helix would be to over the the, ped, the, the, the pedal board of Doom would be that it can instantly reroute everything in there. You can yeah. move things around, you can do all kinds of different things. Um, and it's just as easy to get in and edit yeah. sounds on a Helix than it is, is actually turning physical pots or physical yeah. knobs on a, on, a, on a pedal board. So I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to take a patch with nothing in there at all, so it's totally bypassed, and then scroll through, choose. I mean, on Helix, I mean, it's insane the amount of power that this has. You, you know, I mean, we could have 32 different effects on yeah. at the same time if we wanted to. Yeah. It's, it, you can do as much as that. Or I think we, we just briefly discussed the idea of that I could plug you in with a bass guitar, hmm. I could use this guitar, and Pete could use an acoustic guitar. We could process all three of those separately and run them out of different outputs. Coming to a um, venue near you soon. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're a particularly lazy band, that means you can you, yeah. you can you can you can do I, that. But you couldn't just turn into a pedal board. And so I'm going to show you how easy it is to instantly assign any of those yeah. effects. So I mean, do, what do you want to do? Do you want to just build a? Do you build it? Let's say you're a customer, just take them one out yeah. of the box. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, that so, that was that first little bit that you heard of Paul doing really wasn't rehearsed. That was. Paul started playing, you know, we, we plugged the guitar and we turned all the effects off. Paul started playing some nice guitar um, and I found a reverb that I liked, added it, found a, a tube screamer that I liked and added it, found a delay that I liked, added it, and then just, you know, because Paul wanted something a bit more unusual, I, we found a tremolo and we added it. And it that whole process took like a minute um, and even Paul showed me kind of like what buttons to press to turn the like the first effect on. And then after that, I'd worked out what buttons I needed to press to turn the subsequent effects on. So not difficult. So we found a, a brand new preset. So there's nothing in this at all. You can see we've got two paths yeah. running left to right there. And this means what? There's, that's the guitar path and there's nothing going through there's, this path? Currently, there's nothing assigned yeah. to this yet, but that's the path that we could plug in with an acoustic guitar or I a see. bass guitar. Mm -hmm. um, so if we use the joystick and just decide where we want to have one of those pedals. Mm -hmm. So we chose a reverb. Um, we want yeah. to put a reverb at the end. It's as simple as exactly the same um, way that you would do it with the Helix and with the Helix right as well. So if I press in this joystick, scroll down, choose a reverb, we had a choose whole a whole reverb, reverb here. And I, there we have a reverb. And I don't think I, just strum now, I don't think I did much to it, to be honest with you. I think I probably, yeah, I turned the decay up a bit, I think. Okay, cool. That was easy. So we've got a reverb there. Let's say we want to add a delay. So if yeah. you want to add a delay before that, in fact, you know how to do yeah, this. Yeah, I, I, literally, so this press is... It down. So find the delay, press it again. Obviously, we're only in mono, so I'll stay with mono. And then, I think, again, I left it on simple delay, but what have we got here? Oh, it's just tons. Elephant Man? Okay, let's go <laughs> with... I'm Actually, I quite like duct delay, so we'll hit that on. And then again, okay. if whilst you're playing, I can adjust yeah. it.
And then what was the clever okay. thing you did? Was it, did I hold? Okay, so what I was gonna do first. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Pete, choose some effects. Pete. Yeah, come in. Get a, come come in. Get a stool, Pete. Come on, you know you, know you want to. <laughs> Here I am. Hey, hey, I'm in the room. <laughs> Instantly. Right, so like, show like me an episode of Bewitched. <laughs> <laughs> can you make your... Oh, you can as well. Anyway, convince me. Because right. I've seen recently, I've seen the guy uh, who plays for John Mayer, uh, Isaiah Saki, I think his name is. So, um, he's the third player. He plays a Helix. Hmm? And I, all, when they, he, I saw... I saw... <laughs> I just, he plays for D'Angelo as well. That's, he's why, that's why he's not the second player, he's just the third one. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's really good. If you haven't checked him out, man, you have to check him out. Let's be fair. Right. You could be he's the 17th player with John Mayer and you'd still be pretty good, wouldn't you? Yeah, fairness? absolutely. And he, I don't know how he runs it because I haven't seen how it works, but I know he's got the Helix and then he has two PRS amps. So he must run it in a similar way to what we're doing here. There's so many ways of running it. So many ways. If you're, if you're like me, you can just use it to replace everything. And, it becomes your amp, it becomes your... Yeah. You know, and you just basically send those two, you know, but or, or one output straight to the desk and run it like that. Or you could do it the way that you're going to use yours. Yeah. yeah. Give, <laughs> give <laughs> it a guitar. People said, said, somebody, said, somebody said, oh, the four cable method. And I'm saying, okay, four cables, what do you need? Like one, two, three, one there, one there. That's only three cable. Yeah, but you need cables to plug a guitar in. That's the he, fourth cable. Yeah, I didn't know that. He wasn't He wasn't listening correctly. Uh, so come on, Because you're the guy who just wants to pedals yeah. into the amp. Yeah. I've, I've seen you do it many, many, many times. Many, many times. And I've seen you running around for cables. I've seen you trying to find batteries, and trying to find your little power supply power over supply. there. Power supply. All that. Yeah. So this is a much, much easier way of, of but doing But you know, it. we talked about this before. I used the a first floor pot, was mm. it a, or the second one, and I used that on a world tour with Il Devo, just that. Yeah. Nothing else, because yeah. there was no no monitor state, there was no amps in state, and I was like, okay, fine, whatever, I'll just use it. And you know what? Go you, YouTube. You it. Should read it the, sounds great. The, the enemy review of the uh, El Devo tour, nineteen ninety seven. It was just like ninety seven. It was probably two thousand and seven. <laughs> <laughs> it's still ten years ago. <laughs> oh, uh, anyway, I'm right. Right. Come okay. Okay. Guitar. Okay. Come on. Cool. So we have the the empty preset, mm. although we mm. then mm. added the reverb. And then we chose to add some delay. So I've got, yeah. I have eight locations on here, and I can fill them with eight effects of your choice. So that would be my that would be my pedals and how they are rooted on my yes. pedal board. So your signals, you, this is your guitar coming in here. Mm. You're choosing them. So we've put the reverb, we'll put the delay at the end there. Okay. You, you could have another delay there. You could have a delay, you know, wherever you wherever you want. You're not limited to doing that. Okay. I mean, what I might do for you actually, because I know how how fond you are of this, I could actually just move those because I might mm. want to add a loop to the end. I know you like your loop. Gotta be careful how you say that word a little bit when you're a Geordie. You'll we'll keep it in the there. What? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Just sounds funny in the Geordie accent sometimes. Does it? Sometimes. Oh. <laughs> is, that so, like, is there a bit too much delay on there for you or are you? Well, let's tweak, let's tweak those effects. Yeah, you when see, we there's too much. We'll tweak, we'll tweak it. All right. Okay, let's, let's, let's tweak it. So, so we got that's good. So okay, reverb, cool. So loop. we've got yeah. the effects there. So we've got reverb delay. We've got the loop at the end. Mm -hmm. So some kind of overdrive. Compressor first. Okay, cool. So you're gonna press this joystick in. Mm -hmm. You're gonna scroll down. Compressor is gonna be a dynamic effect. Yeah. I'm gonna push the joystick oh, towards me. Always and I'm mono. Choose. Okay. <laughs> and I'm gonna choose one of the compressors on there. Well, red squeeze. That's probably okay, always sort of a uh, fairly obvious what that's gonna be. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So press the joystick in, and that's that look. That's in that location there. Okay. And, 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 your can, and then I can. And your parameters are straight down there on the on there. Again, I'm gonna show so you. I'm the, gonna, I'm so that's the clean tone mixed with the compressed signal. I I will take it. The mix. The mix. The yeah, mix, yeah. The mix yeah. Okay. Be, yeah, yeah. Okay. So moving along. Next thing. An overdrive. Okay, so cool. A, a transparent um, so it's organic. The same, it's the same process. So if I press that in, scroll down, choose overdrive, and I've got all these overdrives here. And again, it's it's growing. This list is growing all the time. We've got some base overdrives in there as well, some of the new models. But let's just say you want to do. You only want to take that tube screamer. Okay, oh, that sounded good. The so tube screamer. Same uh -huh. process. Now I'm just going to bypass them. So I'm just going to switch. Oh, so they're so not. Switch some okay. of these. Uh, switch. Yeah. So I just bypass them and switch them on and off. Uh, next effect that you might choose in your maybe a higher gain sort of drive metal zone. <laughs> <laughs> As a rat, there's a rat there. We've got the the uh, the. Oh, it's one the hedgehog. Is the rat? Is it? Ah, oh, do go first. Oh, oh. No, vermin will be the rat. What's yeah, the, the vermin. Yeah. 
Hedgehog, I would need to go it's not to the, the they're Mario. They're a hedgehog, don't they? It's nothing to do with that, is it? No, 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 no it's not a Sir. Okay. I, I would need to do the manual. Fine. I've got right, right. It's right underneath you. Yeah. D, D9, what is that? What's a D9? Oh, well. Is that an Aston Martin? Go, uh, go Arbiter. Go first. Okay, let's yeah, go let's go first. Okay, but, but I'm going to bypass it as well. Okay, so yeah. I, I don't want to get too crazy here. So let's. Um, next. Tremolo? Yeah, cool. Tremolo, move along. And you say I'm just using the same process every single time. It's all with this joystick here. So you're yeah. going to press it in. I'm going to turn it. Scroll down. Modulation. Modulation. A bunch of different tremolos. That's fine. 60 Lee bias tremolos. Liked probably. this one, I believe. Yeah, yes, ah, you can okay. watch everyone. Yeah. Okay, and then. Phaser. Is this okay. your gent patch? <laughs> <laughs> and then That's my nicotine patch. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to add a script. Oh yeah, phase, yeah. phase yeah. ninety there. Okay, yeah. so we now have eight different effects allocated yeah. to this path here. I could, we could go further, and I could send this signal here instead of coming to the output. I could send it through the next path, and, and then you could add eight. another eight effects. I I can see the in the, the the attraction of having everything in one box like this that you don't have to have yeah. all the cables and you don't have to buy yeah. the pedal board and the power yeah. supply yeah. and all that stuff you know yeah it is expensive okay. just cables alone so on my pedal board how, how do we make it okay. now then so that these light up so all Pete has to do yeah. is press a button cool. to, yeah. to do it <laughs> which is like <laughs> no I'm colorblind yeah, right? so yeah we're just gonna <laughs> <laughs> okay so we chose we chose the eight effects that Pete, that Pete wanted now Thicky mode. we have we now. there's eight different pedals here and we can Dangerous assign one. those eight effects to those eight pedals so if I want to assign pedal number one which is your compressor mm -hmm. I'm going to touch this pedal here and I'm going to assign it to there. Ooh. So now that is your compressor pedal. Nice. I move the joystick along and we have the tube screamer. I'm going to touch that pedal there and I'm going to assign it to there. That's really easy, isn't it? Okay. I'm so in that you can see that it's, that's switching in, in on and off. It's mm -hmm. all color-coded yeah. for you as well. But you can change those color colors as well. So if you want to color code it differently, you can do that. All red. If you want to. Yeah. <laughs> you could color code them all red if you wanted to. Uh, so I'm just quickly moving through here and assigning those eight pedals. And I'm going to move down. Oh, sorry, excuse me. I'm going to move down to here. So just to um, clarify, you're not clicking this button down. You're just touching it. Just touch. Just touching it. Yeah. Just so. <laughs> what if you've got bare feet? It'll it'll do the same thing. Yeah. Okay. Disgusting. But that's. <laughs> Lee doesn't like. You, if you wanted to, you could switch that off. If you, yeah. if, if, oh, you if, can switch it. That's, if that's been, good. It's been a bit. Yeah, yeah. You, so, but let's say, but that? let's say you've you've done your pads and you set your preset up and this is how you use it. Then you can switch it off if you're playing a gig at a beach with feet, really. Because in case you you, in, the, in case your toe is kind of on it, <laughs> yeah, I mean, and then the, you accidentally. Yeah, but um, what, whatever's going to happen there, you're not really going to do anything wrong though, because it's all it's going to do is bring up the parameters. That's exactly what happened. So Pete literally touched it and then they turned it off. See, that's see, so I touched good. it when, when. So there, it, that's why you shouldn't play with bare feet, kids. <laughs> it's not good for you, <laughs> unless you got really hairy feet like a hobbit. Yeah, like a hobbit. Then, then it doesn't. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Guys, guys, guys. Look, you're confusing things. You can. I put things in one of the. But this is very simple. <laughs> so. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, okay. oh so that's right. the looper now. Is that's it? That's a looper, yeah, because. Because Pete started touching things and making yeah, things go sorry. crazy, so... Is that, but that happens now, when I touch things. So <laughs> you now crazy. have... Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> you can, so if you, if you just play something... Please. Okay. There's nothing there, that is just Dry. the amp straight through, okay? Yeah. But you can see the color, the switch switches are color coded. So we know the green's going to be delay, so if you switch that in, it's just going to work like a delay pedal. I need okay. to have a mix down, I give you too much. You can then switch the reverb in. effect we assigned to that which is the tremolo. Okay. Presumably so if just out of interest if I did this view button yeah oh look you see that's what you'd have it in for now you know. Oh sorry that was the climax that was, was it? <laughs> yeah you ruined it <laughs> as <laughs> always. Damn it. Ruined the climax. <laughs> in. We'll chop it out everyone go oh yeah. <laughs> So you can see how easy that is. Eight different effects yeah. are assigned to those eight pedals. But yeah, yeah, if if we press this view <laughs> button, you can see there that you have on on Helix LT you have this virtual scribble. So there would be thing. yeah, they'll so, be under here, wouldn't they? On the so yeah, on so, the, so the screen's going to divide in the eight kind of segments there. 
Now, if I was in preset mode, oh, I'd have eight different presets there. So obviously that's that pedal there. It's this pedal, obviously, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. obvious how it works there. Yeah. And then now you can see that that's a delay pedal. That's the whole. And it lights up when it's on. It's your tremolo. Yeah, your tube screamers on there. Your script phase nineties on there. You could have them all on together. You whichever way you want give to us, do it. Give yeah. us a blast. So would you? Oh. It's just a question. If you don't do that, would I be able to literally set that up and then have one patch here and here where I have say like an overdrive and a compressor and a delay? on yeah like, but that's mm -hmm. a different than that's pretty that's that's i'm just asking because this mode. is the yeah. first time ever i have ever literally done a video review i remember the first time <laughs> 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 no this is the fir my first you know experience with helix i've seen them yeah. but i've never had uh, i've never fiddled yeah. with one yet so you yeah, i mean you can pretty helix. much have that in any way that you you want it to be so that, so what we're obviously what we're discussing here is just being in the pedal just yeah. using it as a as a really simple quick pedal board just your pedal to, yeah boom, done yeah Okay, so okay. before we leave... Look at that, he's going, <laughs> get off! Don't touch it! You touched so my helix. You just spawned the climax again. Okay, so let, but <laughs> this, these capacitance sense and foot switches also assign what these six knobs underneath here are for. So if you wanted to change the tremolo, if you just touch the tremolo, mm -hmm. your six parameters for your tremolo. Oh, right? yeah. If you wanted to change the delay parameters, if you just touch that, your delay parameters are there. Your tube screamer parameters are there. Your compressor parameters are there. Your reverb parameters are there as well. And if I want to change that, to a different, to not a horn, let's say a spring. How do I do that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So you would just go in here and you would scroll down and choose a different reverb. Ah, okay. So it's the same, it will be the same process. And then if I choose, before. if I choose that, I just click there yep. and then that's, ah, I see. And now it's a spring reverb. And then you've got those six, so it's as easy as having the, the pedal on the floor with all the parameters. There. That's it's, one, it's, two, it's, three. It's written, it's written there for you what you want, what you want it to be, yeah. <laughs> Put this phase 90 on there. So yeah, I can change the rate. And I got tap tempo as well, you which have, works. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Uh. so if, I play, if I press that, I can turn it on to, I can have it in milliseconds. I can have it in quarter notes or any kind of musical sort of division that you wanted from that. And yeah, yeah your tap tempo is gonna, gonna work there as well. The other advantage of having something like this over over the the whatever the pedal board that you were talking about earlier would be as well. So if, if you have a the pedal board, it was more pedal it was, board wasn't, of doom. It wasn't pedal board of doom. It was, it was a bit. Pedal board I thought, of it, was doom big, I thought I it was a bigger, fancier word than that. No, pedal board of doom. It's no, pretty. It's it. pretty big. <laughs> it I remember carrying my my uh, so, pro uh, thing with you know all the switching and all the pedals on it. What is an absolute ton? Anyway. So the other advantage is apart from apart from the, the the cost, apart from the cabling, the battery situation, all of that stuff there. You, the other thing is that if you had a particular pedal that you really liked mm. on this, you could have multiple instances of that pedal. That's what I was so, going to show Pete. Was am I allowed to touch it now? I'm trying. To. <laughs> so if I press the mode button. <laughs> You know, you were saying, "Can I have different ones?" Yeah. Presumably, the I if actually for, before we do this isn't saved as anything yet, is it? So should I Not save yet. this yeah, as something? Like so I'll yeah. just save it as we call it new presets. Fine. Yeah. Yeah. So the I I guess I could go here, then say, actually, now I want uh, this one, and then go back into the mode. So that'll show. You, oh, typical. There's no effects on that one, is there? But you know that that would then show you the pedals that you had there. Yeah. Go back into here, hit the mode button again, and you're back to where you were. Yeah, I see. Okay. Um, so, so you could have millions. And you can loop in because you've got the loops. You can loop a couple of your favorite overdrives if you have that, or your favorite whatever into there. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, you could use the effects loops in there. You could assign the effects loops to one of the foot switches there. So you could have this foot switch here as assigned to foot uh, to loop number one, mm -hmm. and you could call. So if you had a particular pedal that you really liked, you yeah. could name name that foot switch as that pedal. Bacon that, drive. That would, so you yeah. So you could have bacon drive written in this <laughs> in this screen here, yeah? and likewise you could have effects loop number two. Uh, yeah. Could be on there as well, and again it could instead of just being down as effects loop, it could be whatever. Whatever color you want, yeah. and whatever you, need. it could be the the sausage drive. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, just thought something about <laughs> some. So, uh, <laughs> just thought about a meme I saw yesterday. It was really funny. Let's oh, man. come Sorry. on, play, Sorry. play a bit. I want to. I want to hear whether. <laughs>
I was just no, yeah, that's fine, playing. man. Yeah. It's great. What was the? Film? Can we just hear that? Th- <laughs> Fiddle, 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 fiddle. No, it's great. It sounds great. You know, it does sound cool. Uh, and it's and it's so simple to use. It's, it's very simple. So simple. And it's assignable to be anything. Could be a volume yep. wire, any it, other parameter. Absolutely, it could be multiple different things as well. So if you want to turn up the drive on one pedal while turning down the the, the tone on another pedal, yeah, you could assign that as well to do that. Come on, right. Yep. Gonna, let's loop something okay, in. Yep. Let's get you. Actually, how do I get let's, out? Uh, press mode to yes. exit because I want to get Peter a different yep. sound. He doesn't want that. No, do yep. a clean, clean sound there. Maybe put a. Let's have the squeeze. Okay, so as soon as you do that, that the screen now yeah, becomes I get the device. Yep. Yeah. So, and we've, then, got, so stop, we've got record, so, stop, play, yeah. half speed. Yeah. So One, you can two. I could loop a bass uh, in with that as well, and yeah, it was a little out. It was a little out because you know because I, I can't if, count. If, if you had it on your feet, I have no a, sense of natural rhythm. You see me in a nightclub, <laughs> I'm a laughing stock. Everybody just gets off the floor. Yeah, you're like, like that. You, but you, you got a little, you got a little drink with an umbrella in it, <laughs> and one of those long giraffes, orange. Uh, <laughs> I hate that guy over there. He's weird. Anyway, yeah, that, yeah, so we've so, got so much stuff in there, and we're not even, yeah. you know, we're not touching on on all the stuff that people, of course, know from from the Helix, but the, the line yeah. out, the DI out, and all yeah. that stuff. Because yeah, we're just talking about the, the people who just want to use as a pedal board. Yeah, in, into the ramps or into multiple amps as well. If you want to do that as well, you could run it in stereo and a couple of different yeah. amps as well. So, or the three cable so you, method. Yeah, where, <laughs> three, where, where cable the cable method, three cable three method yeah. where your Plus guitar's yeah. not plugged in. <laughs> it's the best sound you'll ever have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's gonna, it's gonna do all those things and it's gonna give you all the same sounds as any of the helixes that are you know the helix the plural for helixes that and again, are out there yeah. they're currently pretty sturdy yeah. isn't it a little bit smaller yeah. than a regular helix but very uh, slightly smaller yeah it's a bit lighter uh, also um, but yeah effectively it's the same thing it's just a more affordable streamlined version of it because yeah. some people just don't need all the all the extra effects loops you know the four effects loops from the other one yeah um, and then once you've got used to this I mean this is so easy to understand isn't it these virtual yeah. scribble strips yeah. the way the screen divides even I can understand whether, that. I, whether it's on loop or pre I do or think switch. that you know that the uh, the the helix Kemper fractual debate you know which obviously tonally is going to be subjective and some people are going to like the sounds of you know they're actually there it doesn't appear to be a clear winner in that one you know there, there's there definitely I are think... helix camps and 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 kemper camps and fractal camps well there's marshall still... camps and fender camps and, yeah. and, and I mean, I think, uh, yeah, yeah i think the, mod, the modeling Gibson thing's and... so good now. it depends yeah. it's still it depends now years ago it depended on the modeler because the modeler yeah. would hide your hands and it would hide how you played. But the modeling's so good now that yeah. if, if you're a great player, you're gonna get great sound. And, and there's no a, lack of any of those. You know, it's there's no lack um, playing this. It doesn't feel like but I'm, I something would, is taking over. You I know, was gonna say that the non, you know, the no. the non-subjective bit is Helix wins on price every time, especially Helix LT now. And I've always felt, and I don't, I don't think I've met anybody that's disagreed with me. Helix wins on its operating system. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's they're, yes, they're really. I don't think anybody else has thought out the like the user interface as well as Line 6 have done on Helix. It's just, I mean, I know I kind of, 
you know, I do lots of these demos and I'm using these kind of products uh, regularly, you know, in a shop capacity. But honestly and truthfully, what you saw there, how fast I was picking up, how to, you know, which buttons to press and like that, mm. literally that was live. That was, you know, Paul does it once. I go, all oh, right, that's obvious. Boom, off you go. Yeah. Um, and we did a lot of stuff there. We, we chose eight effects from mm -hmm. all different categories. We assigned it the foot switches and then we tweaked each one of those and then yeah. you saved the preset as well. So it, was as, yeah. it is as quick as that. Let's, let's, mm. Uh, mm. I, I kind of think now, if, if you're, you know, if you're sort of thinking, Hooray, that's exactly the kind of product for me. Uh, you know, you can probably stop watching this video now. Uh, if you're sort of thinking, okay, that's kind of, I'm half sold because that would suit me for that thing, but I'm still interested in how this sounds through straight into the, 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 the a PA system or straight into an interface, and you've not seen any other older Helix videos and you're still interested, keep watching, because we're about to plug in and go through some of the amp modeling and show you what that sounds like. Thanks, Pete. That's all right. <laughs> Right, nice. as possibly the screen said during that, we are now, or you're now hearing this in its DI mode, and we have engaged the amp modeling uh, element of the Helix. And we're listening to it through a very good uh, little Yamaha DBR10, which is a little sort of one by 10 PA speaker on the floor. Uh, so nothing to do with the Fender anymore. So, uh, tell us a little bit about, you know, so what's the difference of being in, you know, are we in a different mode now or what's going on? Not really, we're just in a different patch. So everything that you saw earlier in terms of the, the foot switches, the assigning things, how we chose the compression, how we chose the drive, the delay, the reverb, it's exactly the same except for one of those blocks we chose to have a cab and, and an amp. Mm -hmm. it's, as sim it's as simple as that. So This looks like so quite a sort of a complicated signal path here going on. What, what's happening? What's so happening here? just the way that I've created that patch, it maybe doesn't need to be as complicated as that. So what is happening is same thing, pass coming along here, we're hitting two modulation pedals. Yeah. Um, we're then hitting the amp, we're hitting a couple of speaker cabinets, uh, and then the signal's being split into two. Yeah. Um, for some reason I've added in an effect to that, a uh, univibe. Um, it was quite subtle that univibe when we, were, when we were messing around. I wonder if that's the way it's been added. Anyway, go yeah, on. Yeah, some of this is for, video and screenshot thing so it's actually it's it's how it looks as a yeah. as, so so that wouldn't normally sort of be engaged and then like i said earlier we had we, we talked about how an eight effect and then mm -hmm. rooting that signal down to the next path yeah that's exactly what's happened here so right. you can see as it gets oh, to I here see. it just starts so now here. it's been sent down here and then i've got yeah. a delay and a reverb and i've got those running in parallel as oh well. so you've got an so, element of the dry signal that just goes straight through in yeah. the reverb oh i see so it can it can be it can be as similar or, or as elaborate as you yeah. want it to be so if you want to let your creativity go wild and do all kinds of different things with the loop and sending things off in different paths and different outputs you can do that or you could just run it as a simple yeah. guitar in out of out of one into, into now one, into I, an amp. I think we should just before we go too much into the amp models and the uh, speaker cabinet um, impulse responses uh, I, I think I should. We should just hear two or three more of the patches that you've programmed. I mean, just going quickly to this one because we can. We can say I've used a matchless amp. Oh, okay. But instead of using the matchless cab, I have paired that with a couple of four twelves. So you can see there, I have two four twelves. Oh wow, okay. cool. So so it's mixing and matching cabinets and mm -hmm. different amp heads as well. So that was. It's dynamic mm. like an amp it would be. Okay, moving on again. I have a, I think it's a, a sort of boogie clean sound, but with a, the main thing with this patch oh, was one. the, yeah, 
Oh. Yeah, if you press Cali, the Oh, I see, press so the press amp, it tells you. Yeah. Cali, Cali 4, whatever, I'm guessing that's a Mark 4. Yeah, and then we have that with it. The big thing about this one would be the, the reverb on there, it's an octave reverb. A stereo tremolo on that, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, moving on. We've got a, uh, a Supero. All right. Um, oh, that's interesting. So just the, the the even the graphic changes from a combo to a head depending on what you're using. Yeah. God, and you could so just cool. you could just run that as preamps as well. So the next stage of which we haven't talked about so much today is you could use it as a pedal board. You could use it as preamps into an amplifier, like yeah. like a traditional amplifier, just drop into the effects loop. Um, but obviously we're just sort of DI'd here. So yeah, we've got a Super and I think we went for a 412 on that. Yeah, so we have a that 412. <laughs> Sorry, man. It's okay. I'm just, you know, yep. overwriting all your patches and, you know, being an annoying. It's okay because using reviewer. the using the edit software, I have them all backed up. Ah, fine. I'm just all, wondering why because the, the reverb sounded uh, very subtle on that one, like that, and I couldn't. Even, is that is that a different icon for the for the reverb, or is that always no, the a, icon? Is it just no? Yeah, that yeah, it's always that. So right. you would just probably. It almost just wanted. Like me reverb. Plexi sound? And then we have a fuzz face on there as well. So if you want to activate this that, one. I think we've got a univibe on the start there. <laughs> See, there's a wire on there as well. Which oh, again that's is, why it was because yeah, I couldn't a, see the button to make it go, but I didn't realize it was a wire wire. <laughs> so, the, so that is actually on the tour switch. So there's a tour switch underneath it. What have you got that's sort of big and clean and ambient? <laughs> oh, I see. So you haven't switched it on. Oh, well, that'd be I'm why not, then. I'm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, it's going to do some crazy stuff. That's what I want it to it's do. It's going to do some crazy stuff. Yeah. 
and you can add the looper into this mode, same as if you were. Uh, yeah, and the loop is actually sitting at the end there, so we haven't assigned it to. How a do foot I get switch. rid of this now so it's not even on a bypass? Do I, I do I just turn it? Yeah, all the way so off. I would. Yeah. There's, oh, there's, a, there's a bunch. Of, yeah, there's a bunch of different ways of doing it, but you, yeah, that would do it. But I found the awkwardest way. It was the most intuitive way to you, which is the. This is the right way. <laughs> which is the right way. Right, so that's okay. now on. Here we go. I'll see if I can count this in again. I love a looper. And I think loop's my favorite effect or, you know, like yeah. my favorite box of all time. Yeah, me too. It's, me too. Uh, absolutely, absolutely love it, yeah. Because I even and chose I, the patch with my initials in it so that I could, uh, that's, a, that's only great. So look, yeah. I think that's, uh, we're done, I think. I mean, yeah, that's, that's kind of I mean, Helix LT in yeah. a three hour video. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. I don't know how many more of you we've convinced that, uh, you know, going digital might be uh, an option for you over ye old fashioned -y things. Um, or oh, mix and match. Mix? Well. You, you mix and match. Oh, that on. mix. Sorry, yeah, that, I thought you were talking about a different one. No, no, no it wasn't the, per it wasn't the person. <laughs> 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 you don't have to decide to be analog or digital. It can, it can be both. It can be yeah. it can be the real the analog amplifier with the digital effects. It, you know, it can be. I think you, the happiest guitar imagine. players out there are the ones that are just finding the right tools to do the job that has the right balance between inspiration and practicality. Um, and yeah. there is no there is no right or wrong. Only solutions. Now, what did I say There's before? No problems. There's no problems, only solutions. This, that's what's my management speaker. That's what I say to all my staff when they're just giving me it. There are no problems, only solutions. And Helix LT is one of them. I like that. <laughs> See? Let me jam over your loop. It sounded a good loop. I'm going to play. Thank you so much to uh, Vice President of Tone from Line 6, Mr. Paul Hindmarsh. And thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure to be back. Yeah, it's always an education really whenever you come down. A pleasure yes. and an education. And um, good luck in the new series of Geordie Shores. Uh, and, <laughs> I have uh, no idea what that is. <laughs> <laughs> 
And Pole Dark. Please don't That's watch the other it. one. Pole Dark. When he's finished filming Pole Dark, <laughs> straight into Geordie Shores. A few more Line 6 videos. Takes him to the end of 2017. Such a busy man. Anyway, take it easy, man. I'm in the Back. captain. Thank you. Love you, Paul. <laughs> cool. When I get this feeling, I want sexual helix. Sexual helix.